Well, Ian, the JCCEO was created back in 1965 to help Jefferson County's disadvantaged get back on their feet. Now it appears its 66 year mission is over. It has been a bumpy ride for the JCCEO over the last several weeks, to say the least. Initially, its board learned they had a $2 million deficit after being told there was a surplus. That led them to fire the agency's executive director. After employees went without a paycheck, the board suspended its Head Start program, putting its 198 employees' future in limbo. Then today, the Alabama Department of Economic and Community Affairs told them to surrender $7.2 million in federal grant money or else. The board's chairman said that request is the nail in the coffin. We were once an organization uh, with $57 million and over 500 employees. And now we have zero money and zero employees. ADECA says they requested JCCEO to give back the grant cash because some of it expires if not spent by the end of the year. The state is now working on ways to get the money in the hands of Jefferson County residents who need it before it's too late. As for the JCEO workers, nearly 200 Head Start employees can reapply with the replacement agency. The final 60 JCCEO staff are out of a job.